And the big thing to look at LA is how much energy do they have to start the game in their second game, first and third quarters were the real issue for them in terms of energy. Bonner banks it in for the first bucket of the game. Dewana Bonner through these first two games, a new duo. Bonner draws the foul there on Candace Parker and Bonner will shoot two to the start of the season, expecting some difficulties with a new group. And he said, look, there's not chemistry. You don't necessarily have a feel for where the other pieces are going. This is a small lineup for Connecticut with Alyssa Thomas and Dewana Bonner as the post duo. Heidemann, too strong on the three. Another chance here for Connecticut. Dewana Bonner scoops it in. At 12 healthy players. Bonner buries a deep three. It also affects how they're you know, pumping in sounds in arena. You know, for good, Ry. How about you? I'm good. All right. I'm sure Brick's feeling good. Getting yeah. ready for halftime. Oh, he's so pumped for halftime. Natisha Heidemann squirmed in, couldn't finish. Bodies tumble, four on four. Parker. At it stripped, good hands by Bonner. Basket hanging, Heidemann lays it in. On what would have been a nifty deuce. Bonner from 16, short. Some foul she was called for on the fadeaway from Parker. Bonner gets a call here and will shoot two. Three thirty Pacific. Then it's Rockets Mavs on ESPN. ESPN Deportes. Gray burrows in, can't get it to drop. Bonner the rebound. I also just like seeing the ingenuity, right? I mean, these are unusual circumstances for everybody. How do you make it happen? Dewana Bonner continues to be very good getting to the free throw line. Sparks were 11 and 3 when she started last year. It didn't necessarily translate in the semifinals against Connecticut, but Raquana really had fit nicely with this group. Bonner on the other side puts it in. She has 17 points to lead the way for Connecticut. Showing off the handle. Williams raises up, can't finish. Bonner the rebound. Little jockeying between TRP and Alyssa Thomas and Raquana Williams blazing into the front court. Dumps it underneath, and the layup doesn't go for Neka Gumake. And now a chance in transition for Alyssa Thomas, who lays that one in. It's now leading all scores for LA. Tawana Bonner, the high scorer for the game, and she just ups that total further. Played points, field goals, minutes. She's 11th all-time in WNBA history in points. I mean, <laughs> hey, all made possible from the defense of Brianna Jones. <laughs> Bonner buries the three. That's the old lady dance. That is not an old lady dance. That is a New Orleans-style march for Mardi Gras. So don't you come incorrect on Simone's dancing, please. <laughs> is that how young people... Here's Thomas. Jasmine to Alyssa. Alyssa too strong. The follow is good. Guess who? Dewana Bonner now with 28 points to go with 11 rebounds. Yeah, it's simply amazing to watch her out here. She's been away from the WNBA for five years. That is also eight different surgeries that she has had. Five ACL surgeries. And when I asked her, why have you kept grinding all these years to get back to the WNBA? I mean, just the mental fortitude it takes oh. to come back from that. Before signing with the Sun. Remaining eight point LA lead. Sykes couldn't get it to go. Jamelo's good D there on Brittany Sykes. Here is Bonner. Dewana Bonner finds the cutter and Holmes plays it in. 
10 for LA. How many buckets does she get every game just because she runs harder than the other post players? Lob inside and another bucket for Bonner. Then here. Alyssa Thomas feeding Bonner. The turnaround is good. Play with a 10 point lead, 31.5 seconds to go. Jamelos is three, is good. 